Police had no patience for these protesters, using a firm hand to keep them in check. Loud chants echoed outside the AGM for transport services, who operate the Nauru and Manus Island detention centres. We need to bring asylum seekers to Australia and, if we, and do the processing here. Those demands come after the UN called out the Australian government over the treatment of a Somali woman named Abiyan on Nauru. Abiyan says she became pregnant after being raped. She needs uh, an option to obtain adequate mental and physical care and to terminate her pregnancy if she desires. After thousands of people petitioned Peter Dutton, Abiyan was flown to Australia for a termination. But she was returned to Nauru days later, with the Department of Immigration and Border Protection saying she had changed her mind. Abiyan disputes that. Late this afternoon, Mr Dutton confirmed she will again return to Australia. I would be guided by what is in her best interests uh, and guided by the advice of the doctors as to what was in her best interests. Muhammad Ali Bakiri, who was held on Nauru for three years, says Abiyan's case is not an isolated incident. We as kids, we were witnessing so many horrible things like fellow detainees trying to commit suicide. The activist group No Business in Abuse says it has evidence of 47 violations in the detention centres. What we are talking about is the mass violation of international law. In response, Transfield says it cannot be held responsible for government policy, saying in a statement the report continues to materially misrepresent statistics in order to support unjustifiable claims. We have zero tolerance for abuse. It's not just activists here at today's protest calling for change. Unions who represent staff at the detention centres are also worried. They say Transfield needs to ensure it upholds human rights principles for all detainees. The government has been trying to strike a deal with the Philippines to permanently relocate asylum seekers. But that has hit a hurdle. We are not uh, in a capacity at this point in time to afford permanent uh, residency to these uh, people. Peter Dutton says he welcomes those comments, but remained coy on the next move. Omar Dbaj, SBS World News.